Welcome to the program of Mansik Shakti Foundation. We have developed this educational course and we are talking about problems pertaining to becoming successful for our students. It is an important topic that generally students do not pay attention to. It is important that if you want to succeed, you must know the pathway. And the pathway is like this. Once you decide your goals, your logistics, it is also important to know what are the barriers, what are the challenges, how do you prepare, what is your strength, what is your merit, and what are your weaknesses, what is your ability to cope with challenges that you face. The challenges can be in any form. There can be social challenges, economic challenges, challenges of personal health, challenges of mental health, problems in personality, thinking, intelligence, and so on and so forth. Many barriers exist which operate. And therefore, a full knowledge, full information about the process of becoming successful is important. It is not an unscientific pathway. It is a scientific pathway. There is mechanism of mind, mechanism of body, which involves, it tests you at every single day. You are testing yourself at every step to do better and better and fulfill your aspirations. One should not forget that ultimate goal is to be happy. And therefore, after you introspect and decide to become something or decide a particular pathway to follow, what are these factors which help you to develop? And the first one is inquisitiveness. Inquisitiveness, ability to know more and more about newer and newer things are the most important aspect which determine your pathway, which determine your success. And the second important aspect is your personality. The personality, my dear friend, is your signature. We inherit it from our forefathers and we cultivate it in this world where we live. You learn things and imbibe them into your persona. Personality continues to grow till about 18, 19 years. And therefore, the period in which you are a student, your personality is also growing, it's developing, it's taking roots, it's taking shape. So it is changing. When something is dynamic, as dynamic as personality, it is very likely that external forces, external factors may cast their shadow on it. And therefore, if you know how to regulate various systems of your personality, what constitutes personality? Your behavior, the way you handle a situation, the way you handle your stress, the way you reply to others, the way you deal with some other person, the way you deal with your studies. It involves all into one description called personality. It does not remain always static. It is a dynamic, free-flowing. Many times it happens that certain faculties of our mind do not grow as good as they should. It may be process of thinking, process of intelligence, process of problem solving, or it may be problem related to your mood, or it may be problem of relating to somebody else, to another friend, to another teacher, or it may be difficulties arising from social situations like dealing with stress, dealing with potential threatening violent behavior of others or unusual stress of examination. How do you cope? How do you decide what to do, what not to do? These are huge learning lessons and these lessons are part of everyone's school, everyone's scholarship, everyone's curricula. One must seek information about how personality is to be developed. 
we continue the dialogue.